37 years wasted. I 24F just found out after months of suspicion that my dad 57 meters has been sleeping with my brother's 27 meters wife 22F. My mom 63F and dad have been married 37 years. There's been accusations and things that haven't added up for a long time, but yesterday my brother was on his wife's Facebook and the messages from our dad started flooding in. But I've sat with my mom countless times listening to her sob and cry about this asset, and now that I know it's completely true and happening, I'm scared to death to tell her. I know I have to, but how do I go about it? She's my best friend. But edit my brother knows. My mom knows. I had to tell her. My brother has autism and extreme anxiety, so confrontation isn't his strong suit regardless of fault. His wife has cheated with at least 10 other men, but due to my brother's mental state, he is easily manipulated and gaslit to the point of taking charges for her. He's on tether and probation. My dad used that against him to keep him from saying anything. But he ain't got asset to hold against me. I'm a grown-ass woman who takes care of my kids solely. I'll always stand by my mom. He cheated before they ever got married and she forgave him. Makes me wonder how many times this has happened before. Possibly even my brother's BM as well. My brother is now for some reason taking his wife's and my dad's side. Neither of them have went home tonight. I stayed at my parents' with my mom and nephew five meters. She has guardianship to get him on the school bus in the morning. She has work at 4 a.m. My son four meters has autism and also has to be ready for his technician pickup in the morning. I appreciate all of the advice and support from everyone. I also appreciate the small jokes brought some laughter to the situation. I'm not sure what will be happening further. Story 2. I'm struggling and so sad. Hello, I came across this sub randomly. I just found out last Saturday my wife of 5 years relationship of almost 11 years has been cheating on me for months. I guess I just need to get this out and maybe I found this sub because of it. I had started getting a strange feeling in my gut something was going on. She started going to the gym longer, staying at work longer and seemed to want to just get mad at me. We had a fight one morning she was trying to go to work way more early than she ever has. She made claims she had to fit someone in and needed to go in sooner. While well, I followed her to work and busted them together. This is how I found put there was something going on and it wasn't in my head. She lied at first and said it wasn't long and they had only kissed, playing it off like some grade school romance. Not until I asked to see the messages between them did she start to tell the truth. Even that took a full week to drag out of her. They had been sexually involved a few times. She had also been seeing him every day at the gym. She would make excuses to meet him at random places to kiss him. She told me they had been seeing each other for six months, but it wasn't close until the most recent two. She told me that they told each other they loved each other, talked of a future and having a baby. He had bought her jewelry as well, which she said she gave away. The worst part is even after two days of her getting exposed, she didn't tell this guy it was over. It turns out he was married for five years as well. I did some investigating and found his wife and told her. The day after that he reached out to my wife and said he is done. This is when she changed her tone and acted like she was sorry. She said she wanted to be with me and I wasn't second choice. I asked why she didn't tell him to get lost, but she didn't have a real answer. She tried blaming me for all this saying she didn't feel loved and that she couldn't talk to me because I would get mad. I explained no matter what she said it would never made me as mad as Bering cheated on. I gave this woman everything and anything she wanted. I literally have zero friends she was my best friend. I spent all my time off work with her doing whatever she wanted. I always tried to make her happy give her gifts, surprise her. I would come home make dinner clean the house and wait for her to show up. Only to find out she is running late because she was with him. My heat is shattered. I've been a zombie for the last week. I don't know what to do because with all my heart I love her, but I can't trust her. Even if I used a tracking device and went through her phone, she was cheating on me at her work in the gym. I can only imagine it's because he was married too. Only places they could escape to and not look suspicious. She claimed she loves me and this was the biggest mistake of her life. She wants to work at put and says she will do anything for me. How could she tell two people that she loves them though? Sorry for the long rant, but I had to get this out. Redditor's reaction story 3 after. Redditor 1. With friends like this, who needs enemies? You are her second choice. If you give her a second chance, she will do it again. And the next guy may not end it. You deserve better. Start reading lots of books such as Leave a Cheater, Gain a Life and the Body Keeps the Score. Implement the 180 in Grey Rock. And develop positive coping methods away from her. Op answer. 
Thanks for the advice. I will have to look out of those book and help getting over this will be good. Reddit her too. Your plan B. She wouldn't even be sorry had she not got dumped. And why would you want her back? After you did everything for her. She sees you as a doormat. And from what you've said, she's right. Has she even quit her job? Offered a timeline? Open access to her devices and social media? Op answer. She said I could look at her phone and any social media I want and track everything. It's a bit pointless, although if she was just doing it at places she would normally be. Redditor 3. She is sorry because her AP dump her. Move on, brother, your wife, serial cheater. Redditor follow up. Could I add to this comment? If Op leaves her, she is worthless. She only wants Op back because if she can't, she's a loser in AP's eyes. AP will think she isn't worthy of a second chance. Story 3. She cheated on me and is moving across country to be with him. My wife soon to be ex and I have been married for 16 years. We met online very young and married before we even hit 20. She's battled depression and anxiety all her life. At the beginning of our relationship, I definitely wasn't familiar with dealing with mental issues, but learned along the way. We've always been a single-income household as she was too depressed anxious to work. It's led to us having to live with either her parents or my parents while I tried to find a way to support both of us. I ended up starting a business and moving away from home. She didn't get along with my family at all, so it was for the best. We spent the last five, six years trying to find a way to alleviate her depression and anxiety. Recently, she started feeling quite a bit better and is able to speak to people again. I was ecstatic. She basically hasn't left the house in years, and I was excited to be able to enjoy life with her again. She ends up reconnecting with an online friend she knew when she was 15. We start arguing more and she's accusing me of sabotaging the relationship. How on the biggest piece of asset on earth, etc. It was like her personality changed overnight. I found out on the August 12th she was actually cheating on me with him. I haven't confronted her about it, but she asked for a divorce and is packing up to move across the country to be with him. The last few years of our relationship wasn't romantic by any means, but it still hurts so bad. I've been so focused on her well-being the past decade. I have no idea what to do with myself now that she's leaving. Every day feels worse than the day before. She doesn't know that I know she's cheating. I don't even want to bring it up to her. I just want this whole situation to end soon so I can learn to focus on my own well-being again. Redditor's reaction story 4 after. Redditor 1. Wait until that guy gets to know the real her and not just the good sign she showed him. That will be their karma. I know it hurts now. But use this time to go to therapy, gym, Tinder. All of it. Blow up, man. BC, she's just been holding you back and you'll come to see that in time. Redditor follow up. This is sold advice op. I would say though get into boxing or MMA as it's a great way to release stress and anger. Get in the best shape of your life all while rebuilding your self-confidence. Redditor too. Honestly, it sounds like your relationship was never really healthy in the first place. Consult with a lawyer to see how a divorce will look for you. It may be in your benefit to not confront her about the affair. She may be in the affair fog and will possibly be more agreeable to a quick settlement favorable to you, of course, so that she can get onto the greener pastures of her fantasies. Seek IC for yourself if you think you need it. Hopefully you have a support system of loyal friends and our family. Keep busy, work out, eat healthy, and get lots of sleep. Dealing with mental health issues is very stressful. Take this time to distress and get back to a healthy lifestyle. It may actually seem that a huge weight has been lifted off your shoulders. While still living together, use the Grey Rock technique. You're actually lucky that she is moving out. But until then, Grey Rock, Grey Rock, Grey Rock. Suggested reading. Chump lady. Leave a cheater. Gain a life. Cheating in a nutshell and the body keeps the score. I also recommend you read this internet article. The Four M's of Infidelity. Why Cheaters Cannot Leave Their Affair Partners. It will ring more than a few bells for you. Redditor 3. Push the divorce through as soon as you can while she is stuck in the butterfly stage. She may agree to a 50-50 split without alimony. If you have supported her for 16 years, you could be on the hook for alimony for 8 years. You do not want to have to pay that while she plays house with AP. As soon as he learns what he has signed up for, he may bail, and then she may want to come crawling back to you to support her. Light speed a divorce before this happens. Story 4. Just found the evidence. Been thinking my wife has been cheating for a couple months. We've been in separate bedrooms minus a few weeks in June when we had a brief reconciliation. I was still on edge. I admit, I'm the type that will snoop when I feel that something is up. Then, I found it. The love letter from him. 
her co-worker. He is a pharmacist in the ER she works at as a nurse. The letter goes on and on about how she turned cold on a Friday. The same Friday, I assume, that she broke down at work and called me crying wanting to work things out. It states that for the last 70 days, as he has got to know her, that he has fallen so in love. Said that she always told him that they could get through anything together. On the letter, the idiot puts his phone number. Tuck you both. I call the guy. Confirm who is. Then I introduce myself. He knows who I am. I say I believe you know my wife. Silence. I found your little note, Evan. It's time to be a man and tell me the truth. Silence. Then he hangs up. I call back. Leave him a message. When you are feeling like you are man enough, you need to tell me the honest truth. You can call me at any time. I'm not going to go crazy or do anything like that. That's not who I am. But it's time to be a man. Not five minutes later. Frantic phone call from my wife on her work phone in the ER. She tries to turn the blame on me. On any shortcoming I may have and even some that she has made up in her brain. This isn't about me right now. It's about her stepping outside of the marriage. I'm no angel, but I am home every night, home every weekend raising her son like I have since he was 10 months old now 8 since I met her. I may be a lot of things, true. But at least I'm not a cheater. I know everything about this guy now. Where he lives, his wife's name, the fact that he has a child with her that is no more than 2 years old. This is the type of guy that you want? The type of guy who will run around on his family, his own blood. Duck him. And duck her. The urge to slash and burn and ruin both of them is strong, but I need to take the high road. I have the letter as well as little drawings he made for her. He even dated and time stamped them. 430 51 52 53. You idiot, you gift wrapped this asset for my lawyer. The letter and notes are safely in a friend of mine's safe, waiting for the lawyer. I will start over. I will get my life back. I will be okay. Redditor's reactions update after. Redditor 1. Thank you so much for your kind words. This is a whirlwind. She is grasping at straws, throwing every false accusation that she can my way. They won't stand. Cheaters are garbage human beings. She has no power over me anymore. Redditor follow up. She sees her world crashing down around her. She is trying any and everything to save herself stay strong. Redditor 2. Well done. I really admire your attitude towards this. Have you considered reaching out to the guy's wife? She deserves to know. Op answer. I have thought about it. I have had some solid advice from a couple of folks that I should wait and see what my lawyer says. I found his address just internet searching and found it on the Register of Deeds page. Found her name. Searched it and found that she is a pharmacist as well locally. Found her number from a business card she uploaded online. I don't have Facebook, but my buddy's wife looked her up. All kinds of recent happy family photos with her baby. I believe she needs to know as well. I would want to know. But I need to keep cool and see what my lawyer says. Redditor 3. Dude, you sound like a boss. You are ding the right thing. Never let anyone disrespect you. You will thank yourself later for standing so strong. Op answer. Thank you for that. I never thought it would go down like this. If I was the person I was 15 years ago, I would have pulled him out of his house and beat him in his front yard for all his neighbors to see. But I can't do that. Too much to lose. My brother is a deputy and advised me first and foremost that he can't arrest me and bail me out. Update. Some thoughts on recovery. That dreaded day arrives in our existence as we knew it has changed forever. Many of us are completely blindsided like this. I know I was. Everything we thought we understood about life and the world breaks in an instant. Yeah, sure. Many of us say things like deep down I knew but we also didn't really want to believe it. It also applies to our wayward partners who turned out to not be who we believe they were. Again, I read comments like they have changed overnight into someone I don't recognize or I can't believe that the person I loved could be capable of that. So what is going on? You can point to their deception, the myriad ways that cheaters lie and scheme to manipulate us. Even in ONS scenarios rarely do they come clean immediately. Rather, they lie by omission etc. sometimes for years, and we carry on in our unknowing. Ignorant bliss. And what about all the red flags that are so obvious after D-Day, but we were oblivious to the day before? I think deep down we know, love is often described as looking through rose-tinted glasses, and it is, for the most part, true. As we all know, red flags just look like flags through rose-tinted glasses. Who amongst us hasn't hero-worshipped our loved ones to a greater or lesser extent? 
Sure, it comes and goes over time, but by then, after that initial love bond is made, the illusionary narrative is established. That illusion persists until it is broken, and nothing breaks the illusion quite like betrayal. I believe that is a considerable part of the reason why so many of us suffer from PTSD or PIT after D-Day, and why it persists for so long in some people. The illusion that we have been living, and the skewed narrative that we have been telling ourselves is no longer sustainable. It's utterly shattered beyond repair. It's like hitting concrete from the 13th floor, and then quickly followed by the concrete turning to jello. Nothing makes sense anymore. Our wayward's infidelity profoundly changes our view of reality, our understanding of self, and the nature of life by bursting our bubble of illusion that we ourselves created. I happen to believe now, after much therapy and introspection, but this is a gift if you let it be. Some try and rebuild the illusion or get themselves a new Shiene one. It's not the way in my opinion. The reality is that we are all flawed individuals, and if we can own and share our flaws with each other, and better yet, love each other despite the flaws, then there is no need for rose-tinted glasses or other forms of illusion. As with most things in life it begins with ourselves by accepting, and even loving, our own flaws and communicating them clearly to whomever comes into our orbit. I'd love to hear your opinions. Update, the physical injury analogy. I want to tell you a story about a friend of mine. He is a former Redditor who was active in this sub for quite a while. He and Ivan each other regularly and became friends. He never really told his story in full, just snippets to illustrate his questions and need for support at various times. He has since deleted his account and is concentrating on rebuilding his life. As friends, we talk regularly, and he recently told me one aspect of his story that I had never heard him say before. I thought it was interesting and encouraged him to let this sub benefit from what he had to say. He declined but gave me permission to talk about this one specific thing on his behalf. So here goes. His wife cheated and after a six-week affair got found out by her husband. She initially did need everything, but after being presented with the evidence, she admitted the truth. She insisted that she was remorseful and would do anything to fix the marriage and beg for another chance. They separated, but my friend was bombarded by calls, texts, and emails every day, all of which were expressions of remorse and pleading for another chance. Ideally, he would have gone NC, but there were reasons why he didn't. Eventually, he decided that he wanted a divorce and told his estranged wife to come to the house to talk. She arrived and he gently told her that there was no going back for him. It was over. She was distraught, crying, screaming, begging, etc. She refused to accept it was over and just couldn't understand how he could reach this decision. She asserted that it was all fixable, even if it's hard. She contested that they were strong enough to do it. He eventually, after several hours, calmed her down enough to say the following and the reason for this post. Imagine that you knowingly and deliberately cut my leg off. I now have to live my life with one leg. As I heal, I have to feel the phantom pain daily in a leg that is gone. Even when that face passes, it's going to itch from time to time, and I'll reach down to scratch and it won't be there, and I'll remember every time what happened and feel that pain all over again. Now imagine that the person that did this horrible thing says, we can fix it, we can get you a prosthetic leg. I'll help you. You will walk again. He went on to tell her, I'll always walk with a limp, and I'll always be wondering when I'm going to lose the other one. He said that when he told her that she just looked stunned for what seemed like several minutes, like she was processing for the first time what she had done. She quietly rose and grabbed her things and left with silent tears running down her face. No words, just left. She signed the papers the next day. Redditor's reactions. Redditor 1. Wow. One of the best ways of describing a long-term pain I have ever read. If I thought it would do any good, I would present it to my WS. Unfortunately, I would accomplish as much sharing it with my cat. Op answer, sorry to hear that, brother. I'm glad you liked it. I was sure that some people would appreciate and benefit from this part of his story, which is why I asked his permission to post it. Redditor 2, what a lot of cheaters don't understand is that we don't want to be strong enough to come back from infidelity. We want to be strong enough that it never happens in the first place. But Redditor follow up. Exactly. Trust is a sheet of glass. Break it into pieces, and then put it together again and it'll have cracks all over. It'll never be the same. Redditor 3. Man, this resonated with me so much. It's what I always have wanted to express. I was a hopeless romantic before I met my ex. She took that image of innocent, beautiful, perennial love from me. She took my ability to trust romantic partners from me. She took my idealism from me. All I'm left with is trust issues, 
which I don't know if I want to deal with, cause they'll AT at least keep me safe. It's a cruel, ironical joke that the only person I will ever love fully and completely is the one who took it and spat on it, and robbed me of it. I know that even if I let myself trust a woman in the future, I'm not gonna give her that 100%. Never, Reddit or 4, I don't think people who cheat realize how injurious it is. I've been in this sub for years even though I'm married 13 years this year to a man who has never cheated. I've never cheated. There's been absolutely no infidelity or reason to logically suspect it and yet trust issues have ruled our relationship at times. All because of a previous relationship of mine, my first love and first fiancé as a college student. He went to such lengths to hide his infidelity that anything seems possible now. Even nearly 20 years later, I still carry that. So, yeah. My leg never grew back either. Op answer, I'm sorry to hear that it still affects, but super happy to hear that you are mostly happy and content in your current relationship.